Hi, this is Taki. So happy Guru Purnima. Purnima means full moon in Sanskrit. And Guru, Guru is the teacher. But it's also the light that shines on the darkness of our path. So this is the full moon that is aligned with the teachers, the guides, those who have shown their light on our path and on our path as individuals as well as humanity. So it's important to take a moment and thank. Thank those who have been there for you as guides, as support, those who walked before you, some of whom you have been probably connected to very deeply personally, um, personal teachers on your path, and others whom you may have never met, but who are the reason that those other teachers were able to reach you, or maybe that you found them through books or even in the etheric realms. So the teachers who have been there in physical form, as well as those who have been there energetically for you on their path. And it's important to remember that actually what they are attempting to do their their purpose is that you reach we all reach that state that state of being of liberation of awakeness of healing of expansion whatever it is for you ourselves so there's a buddha saying about buddha's having said the great buddha having said that if you find me on your path cut off my head this is a paraphrase, this isn't a quote, I wasn't there, that I remember. Uh, but basically that uh, at some point you also have to let go of the guru, of the teacher. And it's not the teacher, the, the guru is, is, a, is a messenger, is representing something. So it's a positive projection that we can have so that we can grow ourselves into those shoes eventually. And maybe that takes some years maybe it takes some lifetimes and that's okay it's it's all part of the the path i also want to name the the unseen or secret gurus out there maybe not so secret um but the the teachers the guides that come through nature that come through the trees the forest that speak to you in the, the sands, whether that's on a beach or, or in the desert. Um, the, the messages that are transmitted through the stones and the crystals and the animals. And so the etheric realms as well as nature, um, these are also teachers. And in our, our peers, our sangha, um, some of whom we feel a very strong connection to, and they are allies, they are supporters, they are ones that embrace us and are there. Yes, yes, you can do it. But also the ones who have challenged us or shown us a mirroring of ourselves that might have been hard to swallow at that moment. Thank you to them as well. They have also been teachers on our path. And now I want to talk a little bit about where teachers and where the illumination of the path is, is headed. Um, we've been over the past few millennia based on a solar sun, solar model of there being a central figure that holds knowledge or holds power that can be, whether it's esoteric or otherwise, it's, it's in our politics as well, it's in our economic system, it can be money. Um, but there's a central figure, and it's mostly been men, but not always. Um, and we circle around that. It's our identity of circling around the sun. And it's a, it feels a little bit like, um, like a sunflower that is you know, just, if you've ever seen a, valley, a, a field of sunflowers, they are always pointing in the direction of the sun. And so it's like that, that may we be blessed, may we receive 
And may we be protected, may we be guided by this sun solar figure in the center. And that also has been the time of the, the mystic uh, guru masters that we, we are in surrender and you are a channel. It's also been the, the process of the priests um, who could uh, interpret the, the words of God or the messages of God, whether, whatever religion that might have been, the messiahs, the priests, uh, those in between us, the common folks, and divinity, God, true power, uh, source, essence, awakeness. And it's also been uh, kings and queens uh, in our in more political system or presidents um, and of course dictators and others so th this has been an absolutely beautiful model and uh, we have grown a lot and benefited from it and now with the Aquarian age uh, the shift is now happening where we go from a solar model which is uh, the, the guru master at the center of the around whom we all revolve. And we don't revolve around like a circle. It's more like a bit of like a pyramid. It's like those who are closest, maybe counsel or, or, or aides, supporters, the, the right hand, the, the ones that he or she trusts and leans on. And then there's a subset and a subset. And then you know it opens up, it opens up until you have the masses. And that's how that has been. And... We're now opening up to a more galaxy system instead of just sun, which is quite limiting. Galaxy, where there are suns and there's planets and there's stars and there's a black hole in the middle. There's a void, there's an emptiness through which all is created. So this is the model we're, we're moving towards in the Aquarian age. This is the very, very beginning. It's so beginning, it's not even like a full drop in the bucket yet. It's a 2,500 year experiment for us as a humanity. And right now, at, we are at the pioneering stage. We are at the very, very you know, crawling stages and, and playing with it, exploring it. And this is what it looks like. And, and there are groups all over the world that are coming together. Some are smaller, some are slightly bigger, but ultimately, it's a call for humanity to come together. And what does that look like? It looks like a group of people, whether they're bonded in a soul connection, a deep heart connection, something that they're all passionate about or have a stake in, community, tribe, family, whatever is that, that binding force and coming together and there is no one person or couple in the center it's empty it's the mystery it's the unknown and it is life itself that's what life is it is unknown it is a mystery and so each one of those people around this empty center can feel a charge can feel their response to that energy what wants to move through? How is it moving me? What, what is the creation that I will take, I will put into form by expressing it or moving it or building it or manifesting it in some way? And so it's when life itself moves you. And this is where we're headed. And it's an amazing time uh, to be in that transition stage to be at the threshold um, where there are not really examples or models and, and we get to to really set the course so this is what my work is dedicated to if this is something that calls you this is something that touches you the 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 electric mm, alive full current ecstatic raw, true power of life force moving you. And that's what the, the shape of the, the guru, the teacher, 
of the light that shines on the darkness of your path will transform into if that's something that you definitely want to be a part of then check out my calendar there are three four more opportunities in 2019 this year uh, to join groups that are based on cultivating this and uh, within you and within the group and it's a beautiful way of coming into harmony where there isn't one center and then all the the projections and the games and the god knows what around that dynamic uh, where we're all galaxies and we can all come around the emptiness in the center so this is something i'm very excited about i welcome you to have a taste and if this is not your thing or way too esoteric or you know whatever uh, it's not your cup of tea then i just encourage you in every way possible to yes take on the guidance and the support from the teachers seen and unseen known physically or otherwise around so that that can support you to connect to the inner guru to the inner teacher to your truth to to your being able to stand and guide yourself through a resonance through a resonance with life so happy guru purnima blessings to you all wherever you are and if you have any comments any sharings please feel free to put them below and i look forward to meeting you somewhere on the path thank you for joining me today